Hello everyone, welcome to Build Your Own. My name is Gagan and I'm a fourth year medical student. In this video today, I'll be discussing about fetal circulation. I know it's a very confusing topic, so I'm here to the rescue. I'll give you a very simple pathway for fetal circulation so that you'll remember it forever. So let's start. First of all, we need to understand that the source of oxygen in fetal blood is placenta and not the lungs. So on, based on this line, we have two main observations that the blood in fetus, when it goes to placenta, it will always be deoxygenated and the blood when goes from placenta it will always be oxygenated because placenta is the source of oxygen in the fetal blood so starting from here we can say that the deoxygenated blood from the fetus go to placenta via umbilical arteries so the function of placenta as we all know is gas exchange and nutrients so when the fetal blood has taken up nutrients and has participated in gas exchange it will then go it will then go via umbilical vein to ductus venosus this is a structure which bypass the liver here the very important point is in 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 normal human body the arteries they carry oxygenated blood but in placental placental that means in fetus which is called umbilical artery umbilical artery goes opposite to this that means it carries deoxygenated blood whereas in normal human body the veins carry deoxygenated blood but in umbilical vein it carries the opposite that is oxygenated blood because the blood has already already participated in gas exchange so this blood now has oxygen and okay we can write here that it is oxygenated blood this was deoxygenated and now it is oxygenated blood so this oxygenated blood from ductus venosus will go to inferior vena cava so here we can see this blood is oxygenated but we also know that in inferior vena cava there is also blood from venous return from lower part of the fetus from lower fetus and that is deoxygenated okay so it will also go to inferior vena cava and this deoxygenated plus oxygenated blood will be co collected in inferior vena cava so this will form partially oxygenated blood okay so after inferior vena cava it will go to right atrium but in right atrium we all know that from in if the blood is coming from inferior vena cava the blood will also come from superior vena cava and superior vena cava is the venous return from head and neck of the fetus and this is also deoxygenated so the only deoxygenated blood will go to right atrium from superior vena cava and the partially oxygenated blood will come from inferior vena cava these two different types of bloods come in right atrium but they go to in, they, they go to iota in different ways we'll discuss it one by one at first we'll discuss how inferior vena cava blood that is partially oxygenated blood goes to iota via right atrium so the partially oxygenated blood from inferior vena cava we go to right right atrium first so let's make it this is if this is heart this is right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle 
left ventricle when the when the blood from inferior vena cava goes to right atrium it will then shunt to left atrium via this shunt is called foramen ovale this is present in only fetus heart so after foramen ovale it will goes it will go to left atrium then it will go to left ventricle and from there it will go to ascending aorta after ascending aorta it will go to systemic circulation that is other body parts and then it will again go to umbilical artery because it will be deoxygenated blood now so it will again go to umbilical artery and the whole process will start again now if we discuss about superior vena cava the blood from superior vena cava goes to right atrium but it do not go to foramen ovale it will go to right ventricle after that it will go to pulmonary trunk after that it will go to ductus arteriosus please see the difference between this is ductus arteriosus and this is ductus venosus ductus venosus is the structure which bypasses the liver whereas ductus arteriosus is the shunt between pulmonary trunk and aorta so ductus arterios arteriosus after it it will go to aorta and same after that same as an inferior vena cava it will go to systemic circulation and then it will go to umbilical arteries and again the whole process will continue you can see all that mess in a simple flow chart form which you can see on your screens so to combine all of this topic uh, it all started with deoxygenated blood going to the placenta via umbilical arteries it then uh, the, the blood from the placenta goes to ductus venosus which bypasses the liver via umbilical vein and it then went to inferior vena cava after that it went to right atrium uh, we we also uh, talked about how the blood from superior vena cava also enters right atrium and when, then we discussed about the two different pathways from which the blood from inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava from right atrium goes to the iota and then we discussed how it goes from iota to systemic circulation and then again to umbilical arteries and this is how the whole circulation occurs so this was all for fetal circulation I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe and keep motivated.